a sky piercer is extremely useful for Fanny. So it's not a question of whether you should use it or not, but when is the best time to use it for Fanny? First, let's examine the item. First, it gives 60 adaptive attack and 15 movement speed, and it has two unique abilities. One, when the enemy's HP goes below 6% because of any damage that you inflict, the enemy is instantly executed. And number two, to simplify things, every kill will give you 10 stacks, and that is equivalent to an increase of 1% of HP threshold. So after the first kill you get from Sky Piercer, the HP threshold will increase from 6 to 7 and maxes out at 12% and that is at 60 stacks. Just avoid getting killed because if you die, you lose 30% of your current stack. It's a lot cheaper than Blade of Heptasy, so let's see if getting this first is better. So we're gonna do some tests, starting with a combo damage test. With just the Sky Piercer, Fanny was able to deal 6,212 damage. With Blade of Heptasis, the damage is 8,397. Well, that's expected considering the price difference. So let's combine a dagger with a Sky Piercer, and that gives us 6,352 damage. Now, here's the interesting part if you combine the Fury Hammer with the dagger, it gives 6,947 damage. And it's much cheaper than the Sky Piercer itself. But let's not jump into conclusions yet. Let's test it even further with both Fanny and Layla at level 4. Because that's usually the timing when you get these items. With Blade of Heptasis, Fanny can one-shot Layla using her ultimate combo. She can do it as well with Fury Hammer plus Dagger. Now let's see if she can do it as well with Sky Piercer. The damage is not enough to even activate its ability. You still need an extra attack. But if you add a dagger to the Sky Piercer, Fanny will be able to burst down Layla. And when your Sky Piercer has stacks, even though it's the only item you have, you can still burst down squishy heroes. So, which items should you buy first? It all depends on your playstyle. If you're an aggressive player and confident in your skills to gank lanes left and right early in the game, then this is the perfect first item for you to help you snowball. Later in this video, I'm gonna show you a sample gameplay where Sky Piercer was the very first core item. And after that, I'm gonna show you a gameplay where Blade of Heptasis was bought first. Personally, I prefer to buy the Blade of Heptasis first before the Sky Piercer because of the damage. And it's extremely useful when Fanny has a slow start and hasn't snowballed yet in the early game. Alright, so here's the gameplay where the Sky Piercer was the first core item. So Fanny started with the orange, then the purple, then the lethal wanderer, and now we have the first component of the Sky Piercer, then the lizard to become level 4, and the crab, then ready to gank top lane. After taking down Hanabi, Luna now has the second component of the Sky Piercer. After that, Luna rushes to bot lane, had some exchange of blows with Argus there, and after a drawn out duel, Fanny came out on top. And that's how Luna was able to rush Sky Piercer at two minutes. Now enjoy the rest of the plays in this game. That was an impressive performance by Luna, who got 23 kills and 0 deaths. Luna rushed Sky Piercer and snowballed in the early game. Now let's look at a game where Fanny had a slow start, the enemy jungler had the lead, and how Blade of Heptasis helped Fanny catch up. So we started with the purple buff, then the red buff, which enabled me to buy the knife, and then enables Fanny to clear the jungle a bit faster. 
Here I waited too long that the purple buff ran out and this is the reason why you should aim your ultimate always. My target there was Cyclops but couldn't chase anymore because of low energy. Anyways we head back to base goat for a blue but all the while D-Roth was able to take the turtle making him one level above me. Anyways, we continue with the jungle, but somebody took our beetle, so it must be Diroth, and he was waiting here all along. Huge damage, and he has the power of the turtle shield, but because I have the power of friendship through Estes, I'm going in, not afraid, and able to grab a kill on Diroth. He's still one level above me, so let's continue with the farm. So after the blue, let's go to top and gank carry. She has the most gold on the enemy team and if we kill her, it's gonna be advantageous for our team. And with that kill and a bit of farming, I was able to get Blade of Heptasis, which helped Fanny melt Hanabi's HP even with shield. After that, I defended mid and got the first component of Sky Piercer. We're just hiding, waiting for an opportunity to strike, but Dira dashes towards us, but we already have the damage to burst him down, and we have the power of friendship now by Estes. And with that, we finally got the lead on d -Rod. And with a bit of farming, we now have the second component of the Sky Piercer. We only need a few hundreds of gold so that we can buy Sky Piercer, so we're heading over to bot lane to defend, but not fully committing because of Franco. And now that he's distracted, we're going back and we got one assist there. Then we resume farming and now able to get our Sky Piercer after the Blade of Heptasis. And we're gonna test it out at mid and we one-shotted Hanabi. Now enjoy the rest of the plays in the game. As you can see here, fast wall spams don't work anymore, so use medium speed wall spams from now on. If you want to learn and master Fanny with just 6 moves or 6 combos, watch this video. Click the link and see you there.